class stratification, status, profession, and requirements of clothing from everyday uniform to a mass youth car uniform. Status symbols, group affiliation, and branding. In the 1960s, this was the first time ever young people became leaders of fashion. For example, Twiggy on the Vogue cover. In the early 60s, pleated skirts were worn with short sleeve blouses, and straight skirts were worn so people can do the common dance called the twist. For footwear, lower kitten heels were worn instead of stilettos like we see today. A few common designers in the 60s were Yves Saint Laurent, May Quant, and Emilio Pucci. The new way to dress is suits tailored with flair in terraline plus T, shirts in terraline cotton, crimpline for men, the comfort revolution. Knitwear in crisp blends of terraline and linen. Trousers in terraline that will not crease. The new way to dress is trousers that move with you. In crimpline for men. Shirts in patterns and colors like you've never seen. In printed by nylon. And crimpline for men. The new way to dress is in ICI fibers. In the 1970s, women chose who they wanted to be from a short mini one day to a maxi dress another. For evening wear, women wore full length maxi dresses, evening trousers, or even halter neck cat suits. When the disco style came in, people wore many stretch fabric clothes and light reflecting fabric clothing as well. During this time, hot pants and spandex tops, halter jumpsuits, and platforms were the way to be dressed. ...feminine styles. Attention was paid to trends with short hemlines and plenty of this year's favorite patterns. His sophisticated designs for the modern woman proved to be one of the great successes of New York's designer collections. The 1980s was influenced by the Western economic boom. New technologies developed and everything in the fashion industry boomed as well. The 80s were most memorable by their wide shoulders and the tailored look. Shows like Dynasty and Dallas showed these looks very well. Models Cindy Crawford and Iman were definitely fashion icons.
In the 1990s, street fashion was an influence. Logos were rejected. During this period, mostly dark colors were being worn, and the grunge look played a great part in the 90s as well, as long as flannel shirts and flannel skirts. In the late 90s, the bright colors decided to bring it on back. Some big names in the 90s were Calvin Klein, Tommy Hilfiger, Donna Karen, and Ralph Lauren. Today's fashion in 2010 consists of many, many innovative, creative, and bringing back some old trends as well. Divine sharp shoulders with a puff sleeve is definitely in with the gotha look as well. The trends this season seem to be blazers, metallics, and also animal prints. Furs and sleeveless coats are also in as well. If you go to any New York spot or any trendy area, you will see a woman wearing these things today. Subtle bright colors have also made a comeback as well. Also knitwear from hats, from gloves, to scarves, to even your cardigan. <laughs> 